All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, good morning, or good afternoon, or even good evening if you live in Asia. Uh, today, all our right, topic is about uh, to all of you. a prophecy. Uh, Muhammad, he said, one of you, he sent me um, a statement made by Muslims that Muhammad he made an amazing prophecy, uh, speaking of uh, high buildings. And supposedly, how Muhammad knew that the Arab, they are going to have high buildings in the future. So today we will answer this one. Uh, please uh, watch and listen carefully and see how silly and stupid this prophecy is. Um, always when I read what is in front of me in the screen, I wonder if I have different kind of eyes. Actually, they are different. I'm not going to give details, but they are. It doesn't mean I have a cross eyes. <laughs> but uh, you see, if you read in the front of you, you will see that how stupid what Muhammad said. Why, when, when the Muslims are trying to make it something amazing. Read with me carefully. Muhammad is telling us about the signs of the judge, judgment day. The signs of the judgment days. When the hour will be when the hour will be he said the one who asked about about it does not know more than one who is asking but i will tell you of it is portent when the slave woman gave birth to her master <laughs> sorry <laughs> So this is a sign of the judgment day when a slave woman gave birth to her master. <laughs> all right, all right. Isn't it, isn't it Muslims you believe that Abraham, he did have a son from his slave Hajar? And hold on, hold on, we are not done. Aren't you Muslims believe that Muhammad, he have a son from his slave, Mary the Copt? <laughs> Hello? This is a sign of the judgment day? A sign of the judgment day when a slave That's astonishing, man. I could not believe it how this happened. That is news for us. I mean, we never thought about this before. Well, this is mean the judgment day started since Abraham and even before Abraham. How many men they have slaves and they have sex with them and she gave birth to them? Before even Abraham exists, how stupid this prophecy is. Let us continue. When a barefoot, naked, became leaders <laughs> my friend all we need to do go right now and watch any documentary about african tribes and you will see that the leader is a barefoot already and this is why since since ever they all exist in africa I'm really, really convinced, brother. <laughs> brother, this is a miracle. How the prophet know that, brother? Please, please, silence. Please, show respect. The brother, if you go to Brazil, you will see in the jungle that people there and the leader, the leader of the, 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 the tribes, they are a barefoot too, brother. <laughs> the brother. A brother, Muhammad was making a prophecy here or making poo poo. There is millions of Africans exist in the time of Muhammad, and even now, until now, they go and walk with naked feet. 
this is how they live this is their tradition and they are happy with it and their leaders are they dress exactly like them so what this prophecy is about let us continue when a barefoot and naked became a leader of the people <laughs> if there is any of you is African please go and look at your ancestor and even people who live in Africa now and see how they live let us continue there is many many until now there's many tribes in Africa until now they don't have electricity they don't know what cities are they have their own tribes they, they, they live their own life um, almost they are you know naked when he say naked it doesn't mean they are totally naked like it's, they are showing their body Women even they don't want to wear a bra or you know uh, you can uh, look at documentary in Brazil. There's many areas in the world they are they are still the same they used to be thousands and thousands of years ago. This is a very stupid prophecy because it's not going to to say uh, uh, you did not say a prophecy for me for something already is exist and some something happen every day in this earth before Muhammad and after Muhammad and even now. Then he continue. He says, when the shepherd complete in construction building, compete in construction buildings. My friend, in the time of Muhammad, the Arab, who they call them Arab today, the people of Yemen, they have a very high building comparing to anyone. Actually, they have high buildings before European. And they call them Arab. And they are shepherd by the way they are not Arab the real people of Yemen they are not Arab but they are shepherd if you go right now and check the buildings in Yemen you will find that those people they have high buildings sometime like six floor seven floor very high buildings in the time when nobody have such a thing and the reason they do it this way it's for protection not for decoration it's kind of security it's like a castle so when you are predicting for me that people will the, uh, or the arab they will have or or, or the the shepherd sorry he did not say the arab uh, the shepherd they will have that all all the people of yemen they are shepherd they grow animals they are by the way they are tribes they grow animals and they have high buildings already so what does that mean? Where is the where is the where is the prophecy here? Do you see any prophecy? Same time, if we go to the hadith, Muhammad he cannot stop doing poo poo. Look what he said. He says the hour is one of five things no one knows save Allah. But aren't you the one who's telling us the conditions of the hour? How nobody knows anyone save Allah, but you are telling us what is going to happen if this happened if this happened is happened. It's mean you know the hour. Same time, look what Muhammad he continued with his poo-poo. He's quoting for us Quran. Look what he quote for us, chapter 31, verse number 34. It says, Verily Allah with him alone is the knowledge of the hour. He sent down the rain and knows that, that which is in the womb. My friend, I opened my TV yesterday and guess what? Look like the judge may start it because look like Allah, he lost his position. It's not him who's telling us about the weather. It is someone else he called uh, weather news. <laughs> In the top of that, guess what? Allah, he lost his job to tell us what is in the womb because as I heard, there is a machine, it's called X-ray machine, you can find out what is inside the womb. I mean, truly, truly. Very beautiful, very beautiful, brother. Very beautiful.
So what is the proof that Allah is God, brother? That he knows what is in the womb. Ah, okay. So the doctor in the hospital, he must be Allah. Let us worship doctors and worship the guy who made the machine of the x-ray. Obviously, he is Allah. Otherwise, how he knew, brother? Who? My friend, each time I speak to a Muslim about Muhammad being a prophet, they say to me, he is a prophet. I say, where is the prophecy? They say, he have none. Suddenly now the Muslim, they are showing us hadith speaking about prophecy. This is not a prophecy. This is a poo poo. Secondly, if we should have a prophecy, it should be in the Quran. Because prophecy should be exactly the word of Allah if he is God. Not you tell me that this is something written in the hadith, which is funny and stupid. Very funny and very stupid. If you read with me here, Muhammad, he quote for us this. He said, uh, let us see this hadith here. Brother, sister, brother, sister, Allah with him alone is the knowledge of the hour. He is the one who sent down the rain and he knows that which is in the womb and no person know whatever he shall earn tomorrow. And a person know not what is so ever had, he shall die. Hmm. Hmm. Next say translation is not right. Translation saying that Allah he have uh, the power of the hour and nobody knows. It's a closer to the accuracy. Nobody knows what is inside the womb save Allah. No person. There's no person, brother. And this is supposed to be Quran too. No person knows what is inside the womb. And he knows how much you will earn tomorrow. Mm. Look, you like your guys, your boss is your God because he is the one who signed your check. Obviously, your boss is Allah. <laughs> yeah. If you are a retired person and you are getting your check every month for the last three years the same way, obviously, only Allah knows how much the check will be. Right? Only Allah knows. That's... Uh, I didn't know what to say. You see? And the funny, he keeps saying, nobody knows the conditions of the hour except Allah. And then he count for us the conditions. <laughs> Him alone have the knowledge, brother. Him alone. And yet he count us. He count us this, this, the signs. So, my friend, Muslims, I want you to try something better. Please. This is very funny and very stupid. Very funny. A prophet, to make himself a prophet, he should come with a prophecy. All those things Muhammad he spoke of already are exist before him and after him. And the judgment day never happened. If the sign of the judgment day that the, the Bedouin, as an example, let us say he's talking about uh, the Arab, they have high buildings. If this is a sign of judgment day, my friend, the Arab, they have high buildings from long time ago. And if the sign of the judgment day is the Arab have, have building now, well, that's mean still this is a false prophecy because judgment day is not happening, my friend. If you go to Emirat, they don't have a high building just yesterday. It's not last year. It's not the year before. The Western, they are building buildings for you there since long time ago, since you start having oil. What is the judgment day? What this guy is talking about? If a slave woman she gave birth to her master, this is a son of judgment day. That's mean Abraham he started the judgment day. And before Abraham, there's many kings who have many women, many leaders, many I mean, slave owners who have sex with their slaves and they gave birth to them. That is the most stupid prophecy ever. But how you can make a Muslim think? That is the question. It's a mission impossible. I don't want to stay long. This is just for a short snack for you guys. 
and we will be later on together all right stop laughing come on show respect put yourself in the shoes of muhammad and you do poo poo do you want people to laugh at you come on muhammad himself he have a slave and he have sex with her and she gave birth to him this is a sign of judgment day according to muslims not according to me i believe muhammad cannot have babies for you know you don't have battery <laughs> this is true by the way true story anyway guys we will not stay long here i hope today later i will be able to do live broadcast in our normal time if i can and until then may the lord bless you download the video and share it around thank you very much christian prince was with you love you all and thank god i am the only arab here i'm really glad otherwise we might destroy the whole world brother <laughs> with our intelligence we are very 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 smart brother thank you very much thank you <laughs> bye bye see ya <laughs> oh Lord. Lord have mercy Leave Britney alone.